Hey everyone, I'm Elizabeth from Solely Tech Princess, and today I'm going to be talking about battery saving apps. And the first one we're going to talk about is Battery Guru. Okay, so the first thing you do when you install the app is you let it run for about maybe I think two days so it can monitor your app activity, which apps you use the most, which apps you use the least. App. And then once it's monitored your activity, you can open it and then it'll show you your battery settings. The first thing you're going to notice is this little meter, and that is the battery benefit meter. And as it just summarizes here, it measures uh, your savings in battery, and the more features you enable, the, you know, the higher the meter is, and the results are based on the past day. Then up here on the right side, you'll see the status of the phone, what's on and what's off right now. I have Wi-Fi and syncing on for the, my accounts. And then down here, you'll see the app refresh settings. And the way that app refresh settings work is basically once it's once the app is done collecting all your app data, how much you use each app for those two days, you can go in and change how often each app updates its data. For example, I can say, for example, Evernote. They tell me that Evernote uses minimal battery and refreshes when used at the moment. But if I want to, I can go in and make Evernote refresh based on how I use it, which saves battery and refreshes only when I need it. Refreshes when it wants and uses the most battery or only when I open it. So it refresh, refreshes when used. And I'm going to leave it at this setting since I don't use Evernote that much. But let's try it. Let's go to Skype. I use that one more than Evernote probably. But let's try based on how I use it. So this one is set to based on how I use it. So this saves battery and refreshes when I need it. So every time I open it, it'll refresh, which is what I want. And then you can also go into settings. And it's, and you can enable when on. Battery Guru will learn your usage patterns and save your battery, which is something you should probably leave on. And activity period power boost. Tap that and turn off mobile data. So this is something I do a lot, actually, even before I was using this app. That's something you should really consider whenever you're somewhere where you know you're not going to get 3G or 4G coverage. Just turn your data completely off because that saves you a ton of phone battery when you're not using mobile data. You can stop all apps from refreshing, again, when you're somewhere where you're not going to get Wi-Fi or mobile data. There's no use in the apps trying to refresh anyway, or when you're just not using any of those or off, no additional power savings. I have that off for now because I need to, I guess I need all my apps to refresh at the moment. The next setting you could change is manage Wi-Fi, which is allowing Wi-Fi to turn on and off, on or off based on your usage. So if you tend to not use Wi-Fi after, I don't know, 10 o'clock, then for example, it could turn your Wi-Fi off for you overnight unless you need something to maybe upload or sync overnight, then you would leave that off. But other than that, I would recommend leaving that on as well. Control when apps refresh, we've done that. Uh, status icon, that's what I have up here. You might be able to see it, you can kind of see it up there. And then when you scroll it down, in the notifications bar, you'll see it here, it says battery guru is on, enjoy the extra battery life, and it'll show your battery level. And the last one down there is data sharing, usually something I leave off, just send like usage data and all that to the company to help them improve the product, but I usually leave that off. All right, everyone, so that is Battery Guru from Qualcomm Snapdragon. I really hope this app helped you out, maybe with savings in battery or if you're having trouble with, you know, your apps refreshing in the background even when you're not using them. This will definitely help you control that. And uh, let me know if you, you have this app and you use it differently or if you're having any trouble with the app, please let me know in the comments below after you've tried it, and I'll see you guys next time. Every now and then I'll be doing an unboxing.